Bethesda have finally given us an update on what is going to be in the Skyrim Anniversary Edition upgrade for Skyrim Special Edition. But if you didn't know, Skyrim Anniversary Edition is a downloadable upgrade to Skyrim Special Edition we still do not know what the price is. Perhaps I'll tell us in this video, but we're going to watch the entire video together, and then I'm going to go back and break down what's the new stuff we're getting from the Creation Club. New mounts! Hello everybody, Tom Mustaine here. Skyrim is turning 10, and we're celebrating in a big way, with a concert a spotlight on some of our favorite community members, an exciting anniversary edition, and some free creations for owners of Skyrim Special Edition. Before free? I tell you more about the giant batch of new Creation Club content coming to the new anniversary edition, let's take a look at all four, mm. yes, four, free creations for four? all you Special Edition owners. To tell you about those creations, here's Daniel Lee. Hi, I'm Daniel Lee, Senior Artist and Development Lead for Creation Club. Let's start with Saints and Seducers, a full quest expansion featuring the largest amount of content we've ever included in a single creation. You'll get a whole new storyline to uncover. New armor sets and weapons, artifacts, enemies, Ooh. and more. Saints and Seducers also includes the rare Curios creation. Khajiit caravans will be delivering rare imports from the far reaches of Tamriel. Take a look. These Khajiit merchants will supply new ingredients for you to produce new potions, arrows, and poisons. <laughs> Even rare stones crafted by the aliens. Survival mode is perfect for those looking for an immersive challenge. Survival mode play for Contend anyone? with the very elements of Skyrim itself, like these snowy peaks. Bundle up and keep warm by the fire lest you succumb to the cold. Find your hunger and exhaustion to keep your dragonborn just alive. Dying. Thankfully, Skyrim is plentiful in food to forage, catch, cook, or even scavenge, as well as local taverns that provide a good night's rest. I'll show you to your room. fishing right this way. If you haven't played survival mode, it's a unique experience we highly encourage you to check out. Going to bed Speaking at 5 of catching your own food. Our new fishing mode lets you angle over 20 unique aquatic species across Skyrim's waters to cook, display as trophies, or even keep as pets in your own home That's aquarium. Cool. Visit some of the most breathtaking and tranquil spots of the map and enjoy a relaxing respite from a hard day's adventuring. And did we mention there's also some fishing related quests? <gasps> what was that? That's... So, grab a rod I've dragged and get ready to unwind on the shores. Oh, so chill. Those four creations will be free for all owners of Skyrim Special Edition. But what about all the amazing creations already released for the game? That's where the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition comes in. Releasing on November 11th, Skyrim Anniversary Edition comes bundled with all previously released Creation Club creations. How much? Along with the four free creations, of course. Anniversary Edition gives you a heap of content to dive into, including numerous armor sets. I just want to interrupt, we're 70% of the way through the video, and we're still talking about stuff that we already know about. I mean, we have covered fishing, which was cool, we'll talk more about that in a moment, and the 20 new fish out of the game, but now... Sets. New gameplay modes like camping and survival, acts of new enemies to fight, tons of weapons, dozens of quests, some even featuring additional side quests, player housing, pets, and so much more. We'll also be bringing a ton of new Creation Club content to the Anniversary Edition, including new modes and some amazing new quests that tap into Tamriel's history. In Ghost of the Ooh. Tribunal, you'll earn over a dozen new weapons and armor featured in the Elder Scrolls III world. In the cause, yes. you'll encounter the Mythic Dawn, who are trying to form a new Oblivion Gate, featuring brand new enemies, locations, weapons, and even a conjurable Daedra course. Oh, These new creations, sick. along with all the other content we've mentioned today, all come bundled in the Skyrim Anniversary Edition, Wait, making two. it the most comprehensive package to date. Thank you so much for joining us in this that, look at upcoming new content it? coming soon to Skyrim. We're so thankful to celebrate this incredible milestone with you, and that's only scratching the surface. But they... Look forward to next-gen optimizations coming for players of Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. And of course, you won't want to miss our special Skyrim in-concert celebration on November 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern 
featuring the London Symphony Orchestra. For more details on our 10th anniversary fan celebration, visit Skyrim10.com, where you can even send us your own Skyrim stories. Thank you for watching, and we absolutely can't wait to see you in Skyrim. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Ooh, this is new. Okay, we've got to go back now. So starting out, let's talk about the fishing. Our new fishing mode lets you angle over 20 unique aquatic species across Skyrim's waters to cook, display as trophies, or even keep as pets in your own home aquarium. So they added 20 new fish to the game! You didn't even know you wanted fish, did you? How exciting. Some of these models are actually so detailed. Like, look at this one. You can actually see for his body, like one of those deep sea fish. This is after quarantine fish. Trapped in a glass box of emotion fish. Pog. Unique aquatic species across Skyrim's waters to cook. One of the features is being able to cook the fish. And I just, I must say, I'm going to be disappointed if they're all as bad as the rest of the food in Skyrim. Like, restore five points of health. So there's going to be a need needing to be a mod for this to make them actually useful. Because restore five points of health is the most colossal waste of time ever. I want them to actually have a unique purpose to the gameplay, you know? We can also hang our fish as trophies on our home wall, which I love. I hope that there's rare different fish and they're scattered all over Skyrim. And I can just do a live stream where we just chill out and fish in Skyrim, maybe even in VR. Wait, it's not. Is it a VR update as well? I don't know. Trophies, or even keep us pets in your own home aquarium. Or even keep us pets in your own home aquarium. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. This is a new extension for the Hearthfire DLC, the houses, also in Skyrim Special Edition. And we can clearly build this and we can capture all of the fish and then put them in our aquarium. And the ones that we slaughter, we can just put on a plaque above the aquarium so the other fish know what happens if they die. Yeah. Visit some of the most breathtaking and tranquil spots of the map and enjoy a relaxing respite from a hard day's adventuring. And did we mention there's also some fishing related quests? Ooh. What was that? That so. was a dragon. This area already exists in the game. They've just added a quest to actually go there. I feel like that's always something they wanted to do because they didn't really have many quests in this specific area. And it was quite a cool area that you never had a reason to go and explore. So grab a rod and get ready to unwind on the shores. One scaly boy, one moist swimmer. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Those four creations will be free for all. So they're free, okay? This is the stuff that's already come out. This is also going to be included in Skyrim Anniversary Edition, which means the other content is all paid for. What's the new Creation Club content? Let's take a look. So the first thing we see here is this giant skeletal colossus, which is actually the Necromancer ultimate in the Elder Scrolls Online. You can turn into this. It's pretty cool that they've added it to the game, but very clearly someone with a skull mask, which is also new, has conjured this. So it's not something you can turn into, you can conjure it. It's like a bone colossus, Content basically. Content to the anniversary edition. This looks rather unique. We've got some really cool curved swords from Hammerfell. Love that. Some new garbs that we'll be getting in the Elder Scrolls 6. Including new modes. And he also says new modes, meaning new game modes, like survival mode. And what else? I'm not sure. This is some kind of spider dungeon. They even have a mammoth here. This doesn't exist in the game with these spider eggs in the background. So this is new. I don't know what the location is. Wait, 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 wait. Did they add an arena? I missed that. They added an arena. We also have amazing new quests, some amazing new quests, including this new arena, which wasn't there before with the new gladiator armor. She's got like an imperial gladiator helmet on here and we are taking her out. This looks really, really cool. I want to make a new character, go there and win the arena. There better be an adoring fan. Amazing new quest to tap into Tamriel's history in Ghosts of the Tribunal. Ghosts of the Tribunal looks insane. This is one of the first quest mods he actually talks about. It's a callback to Morrowind and it looks amazing. You'll earn over a dozen new weapons and armor. I mean, look at this armor set. Obviously this location in the background is the Dragonborn DLC. That's not a new place. But damn, this looks incredible. It looks so much better than it does in the Elder Scrolls Online, no offense. And obviously being remastered for Morrowind. Pretty sure some mod creators have made it already, but it looks great here as well, so I'm excited to use this. Featured in the Elder Scrolls 3, Moral. The mushroom helmet, oh dude. And look at these scythes. 
they're not scythes are they they're like curved swords but damn they look insanely cool in the cars you'll encounter the cause so this is actually the mythic dawn and we have some kind of blood sacrifice table here looks very dark and dramatic which i'm actually i'm excited that they put that in the game you'll encounter the mythic dawn we're trying yes. to form a new oblivion gate awesome. featuring brand new enemies locations weapons and even a brand new enemies this looks like an oh my god they've redone aelid ruins this is an aelid ruin and it's got new enemies inside it and i cannot wait to re-explore aelid ruins in Skyrim. Weapons and even a we also get a look at new weapons. Staff of the sprayed on ground, it creates a wall of lightning that does 50 points of shock damage per second. It absorbs eight points of stamina per second from the target. But it's not actually a new effect, but the staff is new. It's like an alid looking staff here. And then this is a shrunk down Daedric axe, right? It's actually a huge mace. Summon Daedra up to level 36 and send back to Oblivion. Okay, well, that's not really useful. It's worth a lot of money, though. It's worth 6,000 gold. And even a conjurable danger course. I mean, this horse looks incredibly good. I mean, look at that. They've done a really good job on this. These new creations. These are all the pictures of the new creations. Um, I mean, this one's not actually new up here. This area we've never been to. This looks quite interesting. There's a wolf here as well. And there's a new Daedric sword from Oblivion, perhaps. Then we have the Gladiator Arena with the same armor set. We've got this dude in Dwemer armor. Don't know if he's holding anything new. Could be a quest. The horse, um, Morrowind armor, and the Bone Colossus, and a windmill down here. I don't know what that is. Along with all the other content we've mentioned today all come all bundled in the skyrim out. anniversary edition so i'm looking behind here as well we can also see there's some new armor down here with this giant skull helmet and dragon bone claw skeleton so i don't see anything else new are these staffs new i don't actually know and then to the left of that, there's some gauntlets um, next to the fishing rod. Gut feeling in the comments right now. What do you think? This is all the content we've seen. It gets me excited. But there's tons of other cool mods and things that you can get for free as well that are also awesome. I'm pretty sure this armor is also new, unless I just don't remember it or didn't buy it for whatever. And then at the very end, we also see this character here, and we don't know who that is. But they look insanely cool and powerful. They have the Aelid staff, so this is definitely new. It's a new quest mod in the Aelid Ruin, and she has an incredible looking mask. Imagine if you could get that mask, because that looks even cooler than the staff, to be honest. Is this getting you hyped? Are you definitely going to buy a Skyrim Anniversary Edition now, or are you just going to wait for a sale or to see how much it is? We didn't, we didn't even learn how much it is. Drop a like on the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.